hey guys welcome back to another video so there seem to be a lot more features that has been added to the upcoming wizard web builder version 18. so i think from my previous video we got to the page three of some of these features so we looked at image comparison and uh, we looked at uh thank you over text and then a banner and then also stock photo so we i think we ended on the stock photo and then we saw this template as well so there's uh image so you added ability to add a text stroke that is outlined to watermark text so if you're adding a watermark to your image you're able to add a text stroke to it so just as you can see over here and then image hotspot also added auto placement option to two tip properties when auto is specified it will dynamically reorient the two tips so an improvement um, to the two tip where it has um, an auto uh, placement with the two tip option so that is what you can see over here and then we also have uh, pictures so added ability to apply a shape to the picture so you, as you can see, there are a lot of shapes here that you can apply to a picture within Wizard Web Web Builder 18. So these are a lot more um, shapes. And then um, add or remove frame menu can now also be used on pictures. So you can also add frames to pictures in Web Builder 18. Let's just take a look at this demo over here. So you can see these are the um, shapes as well as the frame here let's go back and then you have photo gallery so photo gallery slash um, slideshow added support for third party um, that is Gelight script so that is over here and um, let's take a look at the demo of this as well so I'm just okay so you can see the effect of this particular photo gallery yeah so that is that is it right so you can have just a trigger from a single image so you just have one image more or less like an album and then once you click on it it's going to show you all the images underneath it which which i think is very cool so if you intend to have photo gallery or albums it's easier to do that and you can also have this for videos as well so as you saw that and we have shapes so shapes with output format css now use clipper so css shapes are no longer limited to rectangles and eclipse okay so there's a lot more um options with shapes as compared to what it used to be um, in a previous or that is a current version that is version 17 and i have clip at slash text at added output format css so yeah so instead of publishing as uh, maybe a png or svg you can also now publish as css which would basically just be codes instead of converting it to an image so that is also cool to see and i have polygon curved line curved line and then scribble so added output format so this one also has a, an output of css instead of just images and uh, you also have um shape clipper text that polygon cap so added new background size option that is cover so if you are using any of these options you can change the background um, options which used to be just style and stretch this time around you have cover as well so you see the differences between the three so this is style and then you have stretch and they have cover cover uh, looks much better than uh especially the stretch so that's what that's over there and i have a um, polygon slash curve so the polygon slash curve object can now be part of a layout grid which is cool so this more or less like a shape which can be part of the layout grid um two which which i think is very great because um a lot of tools are limited to be using the layout 
good so if uh, more tools are being allowed to be used in the layout it's good i think that is very good so let's take a look at this demo here so as you can see that we have our polygon here let's take a look at the next page just page four and i have youtube so added mute property that is specify whether uh, to mute the audio of the video which i think is also very great because uh, most videos um, once you want to have them played automatically you have no option of muting them so this is going to make it possible to have videos play on loop uh, but you are going to have the audio muted so that whoever that is a user is able to control um, that is changing it to a mute to listen to the sound if the user wants to so that is the option here and then also added trigger functionality this can be used to start the video based on the trigger yes so if you want to start videos based on a certain trigger maybe you scroll to a certain part of the page maybe you click on something that is also made possible here and i think the same option is also added to um, the vimeo option so if you want to use vimeo instead of youtube you have um, same options as well and then you also have the html video player so added integration with pexos so this allows you to also select stock videos from pexos directly which i find it very very cool so instead of you always going to download a video you can easily find videos or stock videos to use on your website and then you have uh, um, so added trigger functionality so just as we saw the trigger for the youtube and vimeo is the same thing you have for the html5 video player and this is a template here so let's keep going and then upgrade upgraded to bootstrap 5 so bootstrap 5 um, um, ui has been upgraded with a few more features um, over here so in visual web builder 17 you have options to use either jquery ui or bootstrap ui so um, there's been an upgrade to bootstrap over here and then we have a progress bar that is jquery progress bar and also bootstrap progress bar so uh, that is also um, added to it and you have the options with them here as well i think initially this used to be an extension where you have to use by this time around it has been added as a feature as part of the program that is version 18 so the various types of progress bars and then there are options as you can see and then you have autocomplete so added bootstrap inspired autocomplete mode so this is really going to be useful for forms as well as the search bar so once you're typing in something it will automatically suggest to you results that matches what you're typing you can easily select from them so that is the autocomplete aspect and then added support for disable that is auto focus and ready only properties and then added focus color property and then added placeholder um, color property specify so these are form options once you are using forms you have access to use any of these options or properties over here and then added uh, ability to set the text alignment added um, the ability to set pattern of the autocomplete list here so this is for the autocomplete list option and i have two tips so and then support for bootstrap to tip so this is also bootstrap ui that you can use to display your two tip on your website and then you have events so added ability to show hide or toggle two tips via event so yes so now you can also control two tips via event and then you also have options uh, this option can be used okay so this is for the two tip and then added justify to alignment um, options so this is also for as part of the two tip uh, properties that you have so all these are some of the features that you see with a two tip um, two and web builder 18 and i have uh, two box so added a dedicated drop list icon in the two box so this is added um, an option or two as part of the jquery slash bootstrap ui which is drop list and i also have uh, so yeah so this is an example of how the drop list would look like so if let's say you want to have different languages for your website using a drop list will have you 
um, will give you various options where you can select from and based on your selection it will take you to the respective language so that is an example we see here and this can also be used to demonstrate uh, a lot more other things except for the languages here and yes you have a list view so list view mode is now css only so it's no longer depends on jquery okay yeah so that is also with list view and now there are arrows that has been added to the spinner um to also here and then we have toast so toast now uses bootstrap 5 so yes yeah, so an improvement to the ui of toast using bootstrap um the latest version of bootstrap and then there's a template here and so layout grid is now possible to set the left and right margin of the layout grid okay so instead of um just having same size or maybe one size more than the other for layout grid now you have the chance to specify the exact width you would want to have for either left the left margin or the right margin for layout grid so this is cool as you can see that here and then even also the gutter so you can see that from here and then add a support for rounded corners so yeah so you can also add rounded corners to your layout grid now and then flex container so implemented responsive height the height okay so you can also have responsive height just as you would have for layout grid using the flex container so you have the option as well and then added support for rounded corners also for the uh, flex container so just as you have for the layout grid now let's continue to the fifth page so we have flex grid added new height options okay add a support for event and implement a responsive height so just as you see the improvement with uh, flex container we have same things with the flex grid as well and then now uh, there's a template here and then you have a carousel so added ability to use icon libraries for navigation here so you can change the navigation icon without you necessarily uploading your images so you can use from the icon libraries within the um visual web builder 18 so let's just take a look at a preview over here so you can see that yes yeah, so these are based on icons that are already part of um, the web builder and then you have um one next so these are just an example of what we just saw now you have um, added new height options to flexible carousel so yes so if you are using this especially maybe um with layout grid you have the option to also select these as part of your car carousel and then in flexible mode it is now also possible to set the position of the navigation icon so you can also change the position of your navigation icons so you don't have just a fixed uh, navigation icons and i have uh, added ability to set the alpha value of the icon color so yes i think uh, in version 17 you don't have an option to set alpha value for uh, um, icon so now you have the option to do so based on uh, whether you're using font or some or material icons from google so you can change that and then you have carousel slash um, flexible now uses bootstrap 5 okay so that's also um but carousel so as you can see that and then you have pretty fast styles also available for the carousel so you can see that here as well and then the slideshow so it looks like the slideshow also has a same similar improvements to the carousel and i have the dialogue so added one time pop-up functionality via the cookie expired date so you can use the um, jquery dialog option to show your cookies and that is going to behave like once you click on accept it's not going to show continuously show on the page so that is with the jquery um, dialog over here and then let me just take a look at this demo here so yes you have this once you select this it's not going to show if i refresh the page i shouldn't show so and you can see that from here and then you have tabs so tabs also has a uh, bootstrap um, version 5 also added to part of how it displays and then also added 
uh, deactivate and before the activate event to we'll also add an event to the tabs these are two events that is deactivated and before deactivate which will allow you to be able to control the tabs the way you would want to and then also for the accordion you also have um, deactivate also added to it and then before deactivate also part of um, that and then also added bootstrap 5 ui yeah so uh, these are some of the features you should be looking forward to in version 18 so it looks like there are lots more features which are going to be added to uh, once they are made available we'll go through them and see what to expect and with the web builder version 18 so that will be just about it for this video thank you very much for watching bye for now